Don't ask me to do that. I can't, Vinny. Because it's stupid. It's embarrassing. Come on, I gotta go. Okay. Good night. Okay, but I'm only gonna do this because my dad will be home any minute. And if he catches us on the phone this late, he'll kill me. So, here it is. Listen. There, are you satisfied? Oh. Hi, Dad. Don't know about the future. That's anybody's guess. Ain't no good reason for getting all depressed. Buy up your pad and pencil. I give you a piece of my mind. The sun is gonna surely shine Stop all your fussing Slap on a smile Come out and walk in the sun for a while Don't fight the feeling You know you wanna have a good time And in my opinion, nation The sun is gonna surely shine Yeah, so am I. Look, you don't just have to sit around and wait for someone to ask you. It's your prom, too. You ask somebody. I don't know. I guess I just always pictured myself going to the junior prom with Joey. Joey Russo? Yeah. Look, the only thing that you and Joey have in common is me. Nothing in common. Now, who does that remind me of? Hmm, let's see. Could it be Blossom and Vinny? <laughs> we have a lot in common. Like what? Well, we both like to read. Right. You like J.D. Salinger, he likes Where's Waldo. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I mean, I guess if we had more things in common, it would be nice. Nice? Oh, my God, what's wrong? What happened? What'd he do? <laughs> nothing. Well, then how come you said nice? It's nothing. Look, forget about me and Vinny, will ya? I still think there's something you're not telling me. Hello? Yeah, who's this? Uh, hang on. It's Jimmy Moon. Oh, my God, he's gorgeous. <laughs> he wants to talk to you. Your mom told him you were here. Me? <laughs> Are you sure he meant me? No, he probably meant some other girl named Six. <laughs> Jimmy Moon, oh, my God, can you believe it? What am I going to say to Jimmy Moon? Hello? <laughs> yeah, this is Six. Six with mirror, short girl, brown hair. <laughs> yeah, sure. Bye. Heather, how long have you and Joey known each other? Um, well, it's kind of weird. Blossom and I have been in the same classes for years, but I never knew she had a brother other than Anthony. Well, how'd you know about me? Her father's a cop. <laughs> so, Tony, I thought Rhonda was coming to dinner. She was, but I got this brilliant idea to stop by her apartment with my new partner, who happens to be a woman. And Rhonda got jealous? No, my partner got jealous. Rhonda was naked. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, they expect me to say that. I don't understand. Why was Rhonda naked? I guess when I told her I was going to stop by, I sort of forgot to mention I was bringing someone with me. Oh, God, can you imagine? <laughs> it's okay. Hey, Dad, I think Heather's going to ask me to her junior prom. <laughs> Joey? Mm. Joey, don't you think it's possible that Heather is waiting for you to ask her to the prom? No, I don't think so, Dad. <laughs> It's her prom. Jeez. I don't believe this. Okay, it's okay, Blossom. Joey, would you like to... Rhonda. Rhonda! Who's she? This is Joey's friend, Heather. Gee, if I had known I was going to be meeting someone, I would have shown up naked. Hey, it's not too late. <laughs> Anthony, I'd like a word with you outside. Whatever you say, my little love dove. <laughs> it was nice meeting you, Heather. So, um, where were we? Um, I was just about to ask Joey to the prom. Go ahead. <laughs> Joey, would you like to take me to the junior prom this Friday? Oh, I'd love to. Oh, and don't worry. I have an after-school job so we can split the cost. Ah, uh, it's no problem at all. The guy's supposed to pay for everything. <laughs> Dad, I'm gonna need a hundred bucks. <laughs> Why do you keep staring at me? 
No reason. There must be some reason. There's no reason. I just never noticed that you move your lips when you read. So? So I just never noticed, that's all. <sighs> what? Can you believe this? This article says that by the time they graduate, only 28% of high school students are virgins. No kidding. <sighs> we'll really be in the minority, huh? I guess. I guess? Yeah, I guess I better go home if I want to get any more reading done. Fine. I just thought maybe we could talk instead of just sitting here reading and moving our lips. Okay, fine. What do you want to talk about? Well, um, I want to talk about you and me and virginity. Okay, let's start with you. I'm a virgin. <sighs> Look, Blossom, you know I love you, right? Right. And you love me, right? Right. And that's all we really need to know, right? Wrong. Come on, you and I have a good thing going here. Let's not let our past make each other crazy, all right? I don't have a past. You're the first guy that I've ever had a serious relationship with. Yeah, and you're the first woman I've ever had a serious relationship with. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to pick a fight. So you a virgin or not? Blossom. I won't get crazy, I promise. I just really want to know, that's all. No problem. I'm not a virgin. Oh. So, um, exactly how many women have you had sex with? <laughs> no offense, Blossom, but that's none of your business. Well, of course it is. I mean, I think I have every right to know your sexual history because we're planning to have sex together. Someday. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, fine. Until that time, it's none of your business. Well, what if I told you I wanted to have sex right now? Do you? Maybe. Prove it. I'd be happy to, as soon as you tell me how many women you've slept with. <laughs> Would you say, like, like 50 or 100? <laughs> Come on, Blossom, I have not slept with a hundred women. So closer to 50. It's closer to, I'm leaving, this is ridiculous. Okay, okay, wait, 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 I've got a better question. Um, this gaggle of women that you've slept with, were you in love with all of them? Look, I've never cared about anybody the way I care about you. I love you, Blossom. I mean that, I really love you. Well, I just wonder how many times you've used that line. I don't know. How many girls are there in a gaggle? I'm kidding. Come on, don't be mad at me. I hate it when you're mad at me. Okay, I'm not mad at you. Yeah, just like it doesn't bother you that I move my lips when I read. Good night, Blossom. Good night. Finny slept with another woman. Oh, my God, when? I don't know. Oh, my God, who? I don't know. Oh, my God, how'd you find out? I asked him if he was a virgin, and he said no. Yeah. That's it. He said, point blank, I'm not a virgin. Yeah? I mean, you think you know someone, and then you find out something like this. What do you mean, yeah? <laughs> Possum, I guess I thought you were talking about Vinny sleeping with another woman while he was seeing you. I guess I just assumed that before Vinny was seeing you, he slept with a few women. Why would you just assume something like that? <laughs> well, Blossom, because Vinny's... <laughs> well, Blossom, because Vinny's... Well, Vinny... <laughs> I know Vinny's Vinny. What, do you think I'm an idiot? No, Blossom, of course I don't think you're an idiot. But did you really think that he was a virgin? Yeah. Then you're an idiot. <laughs> Let me put this another way. So what? So what? Six, how would you feel if you and Jimmy had been going out for months and then you found out that he was not a virgin? Blossom, Jimmy just broke up with a girl who has naked pictures of herself on her Christmas cards. I really don't think he's a virgin. <laughs> Look, are you sure there's not something else about Vinny that's bothering you? I don't know. It's like everything he does lately just gets on my nerves. You know what you should do? Make a list of all the little things he's doing that annoy you, and then you two can sit down and discuss them like mature, rational adults. Yeah, maybe that would work. Good. But I'd wait until after the prom. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for driving me home, Heather. You're welcome. Thanks for the movie. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for paying for it. <laughs> <clears throat> Joey? It's my breath, isn't it? I knew I shouldn't eat those nachos. No, Joey, it's not your breath. What, you don't like the way I kiss? Joey, I love the way you kiss. Really? Yes, really. Look, before you take me to prom, there's something I think you ought to know. Oh, Heather, if you can't dance, don't worry about it. I mean, you know, I'll just teach you. Would you just let me say this? Sure, go ahead. Joey, I'm pregnant.
What's the matter, Joe? Dad, I don't know any other way to tell you this, so I'm just going to come right out and say it. Heather's in her family's way. She's in her mother's way, father's way. Jeez, Dad, do I have to spell it out for you? Heather's got a bird in the oven. Joey. Joey, you're not trying to tell me that Heather's pregnant, are you? Well, you know, I'm trying to, Dad, but you don't seem to be getting it. Oh, my God, I don't believe this. You and me both. How could this happen? Well, you know, the egg comes down the utopian tube and just kind of hangs out there. I know that part. You were just checking to see if I knew? <laughs> I'm trying to find out how you could let this happen. What do you want me to do, Dad? Well, you could have tried a little celibacy. What's the celibate? The girl's pregnant, for God's sake. <laughs> Joey, why didn't you use protection? Dad, I wasn't even there. Wait a minute. Did I miss something? No, I did. <laughs> Are you telling me this is not your baby? No, it's not my baby. Are you sure? Oh, Dad, please. I think I would remember something like that. <laughs> so, just to be completely clear, you had nothing to do with getting Heather pregnant? Unfortunately not. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, that's good. That's good, Joe. I'm, I'm sorry for Heather, but I'm glad it's not your baby. Yeah, Dad, but I just wish there was something I could do. You know, I really care about her. Well, let her know that, Joe, but this is something that's going to be between Heather and her parents. Yeah. Now, listen to me, Joe. I want you to promise me something. Okay. I promise. <laughs> Do you want to know what it is first? Okay. Okay, I want you to promise me, Joe, that when you do find the right woman, and it's the right time for you to have sex, I want you to be responsible enough to protect both of you. I will, Dad. I promise. <laughs> hey, uh, Dad. Did you ever get anyone pregnant? <laughs> Joey, you're my son. Oh. So you can't tell me, huh? your new, what do you call her, partner? Rhonda, we are EMTs. We see naked people all the time. You see naked women all the time? Well, mostly at nursing homes. <laughs> Can we talk about something else now? Fine. Would you like me to pick the subject? <sighs> yes. Go ahead. Proms. Okay, that sounds safe. I'll take proms for 50. Would you like to know who I went to my senior prom with? No. Because you're just going to say something that annoys me and makes me jealous. All right, who'd you go with? I forget. You can't even remember the guy's name? It was Congressman something. You went to the prom with a... Sorry. His daughter was in my class. She fixed us up. What kind of sleazebag takes one of his daughter's friends to the prom? I told you, a congressman. Blossom, you look beautiful. You sure do. You're gonna knock Vinny right off his feet. Think so? Absolutely. My camera. I'll be right back. Oh, no. I forgot Vinny's flower. Don't panic. I can cut a rose from the backyard. I'll go pick it out. Hi. You look great. Uh, come on in. Is that for me? Yeah. Blossom, I've never seen anyone as beautiful as you in my life. <laughs> Thanks. A wrist corsage. This is really nice. You sure you like it? Vinny, I said it was nice. I know. You only use the word nice when something's wrong. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing's wrong. Um, Six and Jimmy should be here any minute. You know, um, his dad rented a limo for us. Wasn't that nice? nice? That's three. Blossom, what's wrong? I said nothing's wrong. I know. You've been saying that a lot lately. I know. So why don't you just tell me what's really bothering you? Maybe we can work this out. Okay. Um, well, I I'm just not really sure. About what? Well, I'm not really sure if I want to go to the prom. <sighs> Blossom, you scared me to death. I thought this was something serious. You don't want to go to the prom. We won't go to the prom. I'll take you wherever you want to go. Well, it's not just that I don't want to go to the prom. It it's just... It's just what? 
It's just that I'm not sure if it's right for us to go when... Just say it, Blossom. When what? When I'm not sure that we should be going out anymore. I hope you don't mind. I just wasn't ready to go in yet. Besides, I always wonder what this place looks like at night. Yeah, it sort of looks like it does in the daytime. <laughs> Only darker. <laughs> Look, Heather, I... Ladies first. <laughs> I just want to say thank you. I know it must feel strange to be here with me. It doesn't feel strange. It feels great. I'm just happy that you asked me to go. Now, what were you going to say? Oh, nothing important. I was just going to say, uh, will you marry me? What? I said, uh, will you marry me? <sighs> Joey, we can't get married. Well, we can if our parents will let us. No, I mean, we can't get married because we hardly know each other. Well, what difference does that make? Look, Heather, I know that I'm not the father of this baby, and I know that I'm only 17 and that I don't have a job or my own place or a car, but I... <laughs> what was my point? <laughs> Joey, you are the sweetest guy, but I don't want to get married and have a baby right now. Well, you're already going to have a baby, so why not get married? You are going to have a baby, aren't you? Heather? My folks and I are going to sit down and talk about this, but I'm the one who has to make the decision. Well, don't I get to say anything? No, Joey. But I feel kind of responsible. But you're not responsible, Joey. I'm responsible. And my whole boyfriend's responsible. But since he doesn't want to have anything to do with me now, I've got a tough decision to make. This is all pretty scary. No, actually, I can't imagine. I mean, I think I know what I would do if I were in your position, but I'm not. So, whatever you do, I'm on your side. Thank you. Hey, do you want to dance? I thought you'd never ask. Look, I don't know what else to say. I mean... This is really hard. Hard seeing each other in school every day. Yeah, but we can still be friends, can't we? Oh, no, no, no. We're not going to be friends, Blossom. Why not? Because I don't want to be friends. I've got friends. You've got friends. And probably none of them move their lips when they read. Well, that's Six and Jimmy. I mean, what are we going to tell them? We're not going to tell them anything. You're going to tell them. I'm sneaking out the back. Vinny, I'm sorry, but I don't want to be here when you say you don't want to see me anymore. Goodbye. You really do look beautiful, you know. I'm sorry, Vinny. Yeah, me too. Oh, I guess I won't be needing this loan after all. Thanks. Why? Why did this have to happen? Why did this have to happen tonight? I don't know. Listen, this is the second most important night of our young lives, and I been dreaming about since we were little girls. Huh? I'm sorry, I've been reading Judy Bloom. <laughs> Look, I really wanted to go, but I just couldn't. I mean, I kept finding fault with Vinny, and I just didn't want to be mean to him anymore. Well, I, I can't just let you stay here all night alone in your prom dress. I can't just walk out that door and pretend none of this ever happened. Six, you have to. No way! Blossom, we are best friends. For richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part, we are best friends. Now, either you have to come to the prom with Jimmy and me, or Jimmy can go to the prom alone while I stay here with you. I mean it. Six, I insist you go and just have a good time without me. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he is pretty cute, and I did tell everybody we were coming together, and I got this really expensive dress on sale, and hey, when am I going to get another chance to ride in a limo anyway, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Blossom. I'm really sorry about you and Vinny. Is it really over? I don't know. I'll call you later, okay? Oh, and don't worry. If anybody asks where you guys are, I'll just tell them you got sick and threw up all over Vinny and you guys couldn't make it. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Six. Good night, Blossom.
Do these feelings go away, Dad? Sure they do. <laughs>